Border Terrier The Border Terrier is a breed of small, rough-coated dogs, one of the oldest in the terrier group. It gets its name from having been an integral part of the border hunts taking place around the Cheviot Hills forming the Scotland-England border in the region of Northumberland. The dog is believed to share its ancestry with the Dandy Dinmont and the Bedlington Terriers and was in common use as a hunting companion by the 18th century. It was bred to be fast enough to keep track with the horses and hounds on the hunt, but small enough to burrow into foxholes and bolt the quarry. It was also used to hunt vermin, badgers, and otters. The current name was adopted in 1870, and it was identified as a distinct breed in the early 1900s. Unlike many other terriers, the Border Terrier has long been a great favorite in the field rather than in dog shows. But in recent times, this good-natured dog has won many followers as a popular pet and successful show dog. Time for some rough trivia. The Border Terrier can easily be confused with the Cairn Terrier, but which of these is an easy way to distinguish between the two? A. A Border Terrier's ears are carried dropping forward, while the Cairn Terrier's ears are erect. B. A Border Terrier's coat is harsh, while the Cairn Terrier's is smooth. Or C. A Border Terrier has a scissors bite, while the Cairn Terrier has a prominent undershot. What do you think? Give it your best guess in the comments below before we get to the answer. Hang on tight and we'll get back to this rough trivia question toward the end of the video. The height range for the adult Border Terrier is 10 to 11 inches, with the weight range between 13 to 15.5 pounds for the male and 11.5 to 14 pounds for the female. It is an active terrier of medium bone, with long legs that provide speed, and narrow body that it helps squeeze through narrow spaces. The otter-shaped head is characteristic to the breed, slightly broad-skulled, with wide space between the moderate-sized eyes and the small, V-shaped ears that are carried dropping forward. A short, dense undercoat is covered with a wiry, somewhat broken top coat that lies closely. The wiry coat and the thick hide provide protection from bites from the quarry. The usual colors are red, Wheaton, Grizzle and Tan, and Blue and Tan. Grooming A weekly brushing, along with hand stripping three to four times yearly, should keep the coat healthy and clean. Brushing of teeth, cleaning of ears, and trimming of nails has to be regular. Temperament Bred to work with hounds while hunting, the Border Terrier has long been known to be friendly with dogs and humans alike. It is playful and gets along well with children. Its hunting instincts are likely to kick in when meeting a cat or smaller pets. It loves to explore and chase and should never be let out in an unfenced area. It is also known to be eager to please, but retains an independent character. Training The Border Terrier is easily trainable and capable of learning tricks quickly. These dogs often excel in agility training. Some dogs might exhibit a stubborn nature and would require a firm and patient hand. While historically meant to spend a lot of time outdoors, in recent years the breed has become adapted to living in apartments as long as it gets its daily dose of exercise. Health the typical lifespan of a Border Terrier is between 12 to 15 years. It is a generally hardy breed, but some concerns that are seen occasionally include hip dysplasia, some heart defects, juvenile cataracts, progressive retinal atrophy, Perthes disease, and canine epileptoid cramping syndrome. Hard as nails in the field, the Border Terrier can double up as a fun-loving companion with the family. Independent, adaptable, low-maintenance, it is perfect for apartments or suburban homes. Find out if the Border Terrier would be a good addition to your home. Now you can visit brooklynscorner.com to take our quiz and find out which dog would be the best match for you. Let's get back to the answer to our rough trivia question. The Border Terrier has its ears dropping forward, while the Cairn Terrier's ears are carried erect. For both breeds, the coat is harsh and the bite is even. That does it for the Border Terrier. If you enjoyed this Dog Facts 101 video, be sure to subscribe and paw that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fun activities on our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.